I just finished a hat that I hopefully will be able to sell this fall at one of the craft shows. It's a simple hat. It's 3x3 three three ribbing, 120 stitches, size 4 needle, with 3-ply yarn, or um, I think they call it sport weight. If you turn it up like this, okay, and you give it a stretch, you can see that it will fit most any head. It's basically one size fits most. But the secret to this hat is the cast on. The cast on must be super stretchy. The standard long tail cast on is not stretchy enough. So I use what's called a German cast on. Now, I'm a lefty, so this is going to be a left handed German cast on. Uh, normally, when I cast on like this, I would use two balls of yarn because to, trying to figure out how much yarn you're going to use for this particular cast on is really difficult. So, we got two strands of yarn. In this case, we're making them contrasting so you can see what I'm doing. And if you like the contrast color, you can also put that on a hat. It looks kind of nice. We're going to make a simple slip knot like that. Put it on our needle, dug it tight. We are not going to count this as a stitch. We're going to release this knot when we're finished casting on. Anyway, like the standard long tail cast on, we're going to make a slingshot. One strand over our index, one strand over our thumb, and we have our slingshot. The standard long tail cast on, we would go from here and pick up a loop, and that would be one stitch. Pick up a loop, two stitches. Pick up a loop. Now, this is the standard long tail cast on. I'm putting these on here so I can show you the difference between them. Okay, we got a few on there. All right, now, you saw that. I go in through this side, pick up a loop, and come back. And it makes a reasonable cast on for a lot of stuff. You can see it sitting there. It's really just one little strand of the green we can see there. Now, let's look at the German cast on. Start the same way. Instead of going up here, we're going to be, go between the middle, between these two loops. Now, we don't want to catch the front of the loop. We want to catch the back of the loop. Okay, we're going to pull it around and we're going to capture our other yarn and then very carefully we're going to pull it back through and drop that loop. And as you can see what happens with the yarn. It puts a twist on it. Okay, there, it's twisted. That gives us that extra stretch. Let's do that again. Through the middle, catch this side of the loop, pull it back, capture our stitch and weasel it back through. There we go. One more. Again, coming up through the middle. Now, not this loop. We want this one. But to catch it, we're coming through the middle. We'll pick it. We'll reach over. We'll grab our stitch and we'll release it off of our thumb and snug it. Through the middle, catch the inside loop over and back we go. The needle comes up through this one and when we capture that loop we want to put the needle back where it started and then release it off of our thumb. Let's do another one. Slow. Through the middle. Capture that inside loop. Capture a stitch that we're going to put on our needle and there we go. Now, let's look at them. Okay, this is a little tiny bit of a yarn that we've captured, but this one here, you can see it's actually twisted. There's a loop that's twisted there. And that's what gives us our stretchiness. And if I stretch these stitches out, here, let me get them stretched out here, you can see that the long tail cast on, it stretches a little bit out. Okay, but look at the difference with the other stitches. Come on, 
They're not slipping on my needle too well. Okay, I get a lot more distance on the long tail, uh, on the German cast on. This is the distance between them. This is the distance between them. So we have almost twice the stretch as with the standard long tail cast on. And on the back side, you can see the difference here too. It's a lot more, a lot more of the, the green thread went on into that stitch. And that's because it's twisted. It's literally twisted there. Anyway, I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments. Uh, the pattern is kind of straightforward. I gave it to you. And all you do at the top is you just decrease it um, like a standard hat. Uh, I've got a description, I think, on Knitting Paradise. I'll put that link below. And uh, if you have any questions, be sure to make comments and ask me. I would gladly answer them. Uh, oh, as far as that other, as our beginning stitch, all you have to do is slip it off your needle. And if, you, if you're using a standard needle, when you, when you knit, okay, don't count it. Okay, when you come to it, just drop it. And there, I have two strands. Okay? Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, have enjoyed this. I hope I've taught you something. Uh, I'll try to put some more videos out about some of the knitting techniques that I have discovered over the years. Uh, as a left-handed knitter in a right-handed world, it sometimes is difficult for us to grasp some of these techniques that are shown to us right-handed. Anyway, thank you very much. Like and subscribe.